we're gonna first start off with our Tumblr inspired composition notebook. So you're gonna first measure out your notebook and leave about half an inch on the measurement because you're going to need it. And the paper I'm using is just some scrapbook paper. Um, I like it because it's kind of hard and I'm just using the back of it which is white. And after you have cut out your paper, just glue it. And I'm just using Elmer's glue because it's cheap. And afterward, just stick your piece of paper onto your cover. And do the same to the other side of your notebook as well. So to make a seamless cover, you're just going to take some of the excess paper and you're just going to fold it in. And trust me, you should fold it in first. It's going to make your life so much easier. And the glue I'm using is just regular glue stick. It's not Elmer's glue because um, I think Elmer's glue is a little bit messy for this part. Next, you will need some magazine. I just like to rip out my magazine pages first and then cut them. I find it's a little bit easier. You're just going to cut out any pictures that attracts you, basically. Placing all your pieces together is probably the hardest part. One of my tips is just kind of have a theme. I'm trying to have a pretty cool color theme to this and uh, make sure it's nicely spaced out. That's my tip for you. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. However, for the other side, I'm going to make it a little bit more colorful, like the saturation is higher. Now we've gone to our next notebook cover, which is a denim pocket one. You're going to first get out a pair of shorts or jeans, whatever you want, and you're just going to cut out the pocket. And to be honest, you can actually make your own pocket. It's pretty easy. You just cut out a shield shape. I'm just going to roughly cut this and I'm just going to make it all neat and nice after the initial cut. So here you have your pocket and I'm just going to cover my notebook with black paper. And you see these little bubbles, they're actually going to go away in a while after the glue has completely dried. After you have your notebook covered, you can now place your pocket onto the cover. I'm using hot glue gum but you can definitely use super glue or E9000, any type of strong bonding glue works just as fine. Just don't use Elmer's glue, it will not work. Wait until this is dry and you can stuff any of your writing utensils inside. Next, we're going to make the minion notebook. And to make this, you're basically going to use the same technique I just taught you. However, you're going to make two-thirds of your cover a yellow. If you notice, I have made a big mistake right here. I totally flipped the notebook the other way around. So if I open the book, it's actually upside down. Now I'm going to take your blue paper and this should cover about like one-third of your notebook. And you're just going to measure it and just glue it like so. Now that we have basically our foundation done, you're just going to cut out two little strips of blue and you're just going to glue it in between the yellow and the blue. So you can use pencil to outline your details, however, I'm going to show you a better way to outline them later. Next, I'm going to cut out two white circles. I'm using the scrapbook paper that has polka dots on them, so they're kind of like a guideline. And after that, you're going to make a brown, black, and tiny little white and just glue everything together. You're just now going to cut out two more black strips and just trim it. I'm just going to leave some excess just so I can get a very seamless finish. I'm just going to add a little tiny piece of black in between the eyes just for the goggles. Now to add the little detail G, I'm just using my sister's face cream and using that to make a perfect circle and just drawing the details. I am not an artist to be honest, but all I did was just 
kind of copy the picture from Google Image. And I'm using Sharpie here because I feel like the outline, it's a lot more brighter. Remember to draw the little detail for the pocket as well. For the back, just add two little blue straps and that's basically it. And again, I'm just going to add a little detail and yes, I did kind of mess up over there, but whatever. Anyways, we're going to make some bookmarks next. Very easy, you're just going to go to Google Images and type out anything you like. I just kind of went for that Sailor Moon brooch because it's cute and it's girly. I'm just going to use paint and crop this after I've cropped it, I'm just going to save a copy. Now I'm just going to click rotate and flip vertically and save another copy. And I'm going to use a free word processor, Google Doc, and I'm just going to insert both image like so, and I'm just going to resize them. Keep in mind that you want to make these kind of relatively small because they are just bookmarks. Just a little tip, if you want to save paper, then you can change your margin into 0.1 from the page setup. After you've printed out your images, just cut them out. Now we will need to laminate these images for longevity. However, I did not want to spend $50 buying a laminator, which I will only use once. So I am going to use these clear packing tape. These images fit perfectly within the margin of the clear packing tape. So I'm just using this method. I'm just going to stick one side of the image onto the paper and I'm going to flip it over to the other side like so. And basically, this completes your whole process of laminating. Just cut out the excess tape and move along to your next image. Now that you have laminated them, you can now just go and roughly cut the excess tape off. And next, you're just going to glue. And I highly do not recommend this glue. It, basically, the glue got all over my fingers and I couldn't feel my fingers for the next three days, seriously. And you're just basically going to use those two image and sandwich a paper clip inside or in between let this thing dry and you're basically done you got yourself some really cute bookmarks to decorate your binder or planner and last but not least we're gonna make a minion bookmark I know minions are totally the thing right now anyways to make this bookmark you're going to make a cross at six by six inches and you're just going to make two lines parallel like so but well, afterwards you have cut it out you're just going to get this kind of like fox looking thing shape <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna fold the triangles together like so and you're just gonna glue it. I'm using glue stick. Next, you're gonna draw out this little shape. I don't even know what you call this. I'm just gonna draw a line it through the head and the body and chop it off. I'm just gonna glue everything onto the paper. I'm just gonna cut off the excess body and I'm just going to take this paper, um, this cardstock blue darker blue paper i ripped this off from my notebook that i don't use anymore anyways i'm just gonna cut two little curvy lines next to the side like so just for the minion's arm to peek through again i'm going to cut off the excess and i'm going to glue it onto the body you're going to cut out two little strips of blue like so and glue it onto the suit, the bodysuit I guess that's what you call it. And you're just going to add the little details of the minion. And I just added two dots for the button and then I went ahead and I used pencil to outline the goggles and the eyes. For the goggle, I am using just a regular pencil because it is kind of like a gray silver shade. And I outlined it with black colored pen. And then I used some white paint, brown, and a little bit of white paint for the eyes. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy these really easy and inexpensive DIY for your school season. Like always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye guys!